Well, I'm here at Lowe's. You see, I had an idea. And I don't always like to share my ideas with Randy because sometimes he thinks they're goofy, crazy. And other times he thinks they're okay. And I never quite know which it's gonna be. So, I'm just gonna get what I think I need and surprise him with it later and say, look, this is what I came up with. How about we do that? <laughs> See, here's the dilemma. The whole idea on this TV Entertainment Center, we kind of created a false wall. Um, if you watch part three, you might have understood what, what we were doing, but the false wall is to hide cords from the plug up to the TV. And the TV is going to sit on a shelf. Well, if we don't have a false wall, those cords are gonna show which is gonna detract from the whole thing. So, what I created was this false wall using two by fours. That's why the center base cabinet had two by fours behind it so that we had a gap. And at first he didn't cut the two by fours on the two sides short enough. Well, he didn't cut them short at all. And so he had to fix that, which he did. Um, and we drilled a hole so we could run the TV cords through that hole and in that gap. Well, here's the thing. On that back wall, we're gonna put more two by fours so that we can mount the barn wood on top of that. Well, what if they ever need to change out the TV? You know, they can tie a string to the TV cord and run the string down, you know, th through the wall, through that hole. They could do that. But to me, it would be better to have those cords encased in something straight. And you still probably have to use the string thing, but at least it'd be straight and not be hanging up on any of the two by fours in that wall. I mean, it just could, it just make more sense. Then it? it really does make more sense. So, I'm thinking PVC, an inch and a half is the biggest diameter that I can go because the two by fours are an inch and a half thick. So I know I can't go over that. And then I gotta figure out some way to mount the PVC to the wall. And I'm thinking those little U things, I know we did those on the trellis with the conduit. I don't know if they sell those U things big enough. I'd have to see, but I think there's strapping metal strapping material with holes that people use like uh, heat and air people use to hang their duct work so we might could use that if I can't find the U thing anyway let's go inside see what I can find this inch and a quarter the outside diameter it's too big. Oh. I always keep my tape measure in my purse. Anyway, that's an inch and five eighths. So that would stick out. The inch stuff would work. but it's not quite a full inch opening. The plug part would never slide through that. It'd have to be the pointy part. The pointy part, but that's, that might not be bad. And I also found this stuff. Yeah, it goes around. It's flexible. I don't know. It, it's only like about 50, so I might get it too. Now to look for some U clamps. Tube straps. That's what they're called. Got it. 
Well, I think I got what I needed. Got a board. Eight foot long, 10 inches wide for another idea I had. A cabinet. A narrow cabinet for <clears throat> one of the doors that, uh, you know, the tall ones that weren't measured correctly. Something to build and sell. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to the M's we go. No time to say hello, goodbye, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. This is my idea because Randy doesn't always like my idea, but he's going along with this. Huh? In my opinion, if you ever needed to change out your TV, yeah. You'd have to reroute your cords through this false wall, which wouldn't be extremely easy to do. Right. So I came up with this idea. You like that? To have something to feed. Where does it go, Randy? Is that the mark of the shelf? Right there. It don't, the pipe don't need to come all the way to the end because you'll be in the wire too much. Okay. Okay. Yeah, wire is So, see, I thought it would be best to have something to encase the wires. Hmm. A straight shot, it, yeah. would, it wouldn't get caught on two by fours, you know, if you're trying to do that. You know, this will get mounted like this. So it will not move. Now what's the string trick you're trying to do? Well, we have to have a way to get the cords through. Because once this is installed on the wall, how are you going to feed the cords? You know? Yeah. So here's how you do it. Use the string. Go all the way through. You got that, right? Uh-huh. Once we get this on the wall, we're going to tie the string to a cord and pull it through. Okay. That's how we're going to get it through the pipe. Well, you don't have to now. It's just if you ever swap it. Yeah, if you ever swap it. That, but I, I think we're going to have to now anyways. started now pull okay. that's how you do it when you've got something that you've got to thread through something solid and you can't you can't push a cord uphill I see what you're saying so I, I would when this is gonna be fixed to the wall mounted you said yeah. yeah and then what I would do is I would put the, the pencil and the string down to the tube would come out the other side mm -hmm. in the cabinet and then you tie your cord to the string uh -huh. and pull the string back out. Okay. And that feeds your that feeds your cord through the pipe. I think this is brilliant myself. It's a good idea. I just had to warm up to it, that's all. <laughs> Thanks for all the help. That's fine. Oh, I taught you something you might not have ever said no. Yeah, I never learned the uh String trick. String trick. It has a name. They do it every day, every single day on commercial dogs. Oh, yeah. Because they use metal conduit. Yeah. And that's how they pull all the wires in oh. the hotel. Really? Yeah. Every it's on a regular one. basis. That also builds my confidence as well. So it's like, oh, people do this all the time. Well, where do you think I learned it? You want to put the other bracket on? Oh, well, you might have. What other bracket? There was three. You There's got four. Well, you, know, well, you might have just come up. I mean, you don't really need it, but. How did you learn it? I don't remember. Could have been just a conversation with Randy as he was talking about his job. 
Yeah, so, yeah, like, I don't they know. were doing the strain trick, and you're probably like, what's the strain trick? Well, let's just pull the wires, is what they call it, it's just pulling wires. Oh, okay. How else would you do it? I mean, it's yeah, it's a feeder know. line, basically, is what yeah. it is. Okay, so here's the issue. They don't make TV cords long enough. We can't use an extension cord because we can't get the extension cord that is a three-pronger through the pipe. On their TV, they've got one cord that goes and plugs in from the right side and one from the left side. So, that's what we're doing now. There's a plug in each of the base cabinets. And so now we've got the cord that plugs in from to the right of the TV and the cord that plugs in from the left of the TV in there. Do you need me to get in there with my small fingers? Or smaller fingers? There's no small, even my hand won't fit down there. Use the string trick with a magnet. A magnet. A magnet would be the only way. Just trying to figure out how to retrieve what he dropped because the end of his end of his thing is a magnet. End of his Is it? Oh yeah, look at that. That's clever. That one doesn't need it. Okay, we done with that. We done with that. Okay. Now let me do my thing. Do your thing.
flip it over about 20. The hole? I'm just asking you. Use that side, yeah. it's going to do the same thing. Well, it can't come over 20 because of this 2x4. Okay, 16. 16. That'll work. 16 on both sides. And not very far from the top uh, of the Yeah, yeah. Which piece you want to use? It needs to be a solid piece. piece. You don't need to be a funky piece. Okay. And it doesn't have to be, well, it has to be big enough for this to go through. Yeah, I got you. So as it turned out, my idea about putting the wires through the PVC did work, but boy oh boy did it take us a long time to get that accomplished, especially because the, the TV cords were not long enough to go up that high uh, where we were going to put the shelf where it would be hidden. So we, as you can see, we had to do some finagling. At the end of this day, after five hours, we got the cords in the PVC, we got the back wall barn wood done, and we got the crown molding on the top. After that, we were tired, so we went home to finish up the next day. Got a million projects going on on this table. But, um, these are actually door handles. They're leather. They're like a leather pull. So you can fasten it with a little brad here and then it, a brad that screws into the door there. I think. They only gave me four brads. I'm not sure. And I bought four of these. But anyway, it's a very dark brown leather, which is okay, but thinking for uh, the handles on the doors for the TV Entertainment Center, I kind of want a darker finish. So, I have some ebony stain and seal from my faux product days. And I'm just going to see what this will do to it. use just a black paint but uh, the stain and seal from my understanding way back when it actually has a little bit of a glaze in it so it doesn't dry quite as quickly what I'm looking for. I 
lagi nak ber. So we're back at it, and the next day, the first thing we did was install the base molding across the front. If you remember, we had um, a kick plate made out of two by fours, and we needed to cover that up. So we just used a one by four. We had to rip it down a little bit so it would fit. So for all my gardening buddies out there, you know about my wannabe shovel. Well, when I came over here, my daughter-in-law has a wannabe broom. Walmart $1.97, she says, but actually it's pretty handy. It's just tiny. you're doing this because I am not a good caulker. And after that, you're going to see an oopsie here in a minute. We uh, made and installed the shelf and the shelf brackets for the TV. But then this happened. Well, apparently, we wasn't in the center because we got more hanging off there than we do up here. What are you talking about? The braces? Well, half of 50. It don't matter, it's not it's 20, it should have been 29 and not 26 and a half. Wonderful. So now we get to take that off. We get to take two of them off. Well, now that we have our shelf fixed and centered, it's time to do the final things, installing the doors. We had to attach the hinges to the back of the doors, attach the doors to the cabinet, and then um, adjust the doors, which is really easy to do with these hinges. You just have to turn a couple of screws one way or the other, and it adjusts uh, both the depth and the direction of the door and after that we installed the handles and we were complete hope you enjoy the images of the final product